Hey guys, Cilantro here. It is Tuesday, uh, the 18th of September, 2012, and this is my Better Than Wolves pre-show for the day. Uh, this one's going to be a rather quick one, as I don't have a lot of time. I figured I would just do a very brief tour of what I have done so far in the Let's Play world, or sorry, in the uh, Better Than Wolves uh, Let's Play world. And I will then go on to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do today. Um, so without further ado, uh, some of my current projects include... A, uh, an, an organics farm I'm going to be working on which will harvest uh, pumpkins and melons and hemp and wheat and all that sort of all those sort of things uh, automatically um, right here is my mill where I have uh, millstones below as well as uh, turntables here as a temporary uh, place for them uh, and a saw here as a temporary place for that I'll eventually make a saw house or a sawmill of some sort as well as a dedicated pottery factory um, in the future. A lot of this is going to be a little obscure if you've never played Better Than Wolves, but uh, it's a great mod. There's a lot of stuff involved in it. If you want to do some more research, uh, of course, you're certainly welcome to, but uh, I like exploring mods on my own. I don't like to uh, do a lot of pre-research before I get into it, but if you like technical stuff, this is about as good as it gets. Um, here is my ice farm. This is actually proving to be more useful than I originally anticipated because ice um, will melt instantly in most areas and will cause a little pool of water. Uh, this mod has what's called hardcore buckets uh, which which do not allow you to move water source blocks so you can no longer transport water source blocks with uh, with buckets. So buckets are actually almost useless uh, so having ice is a form of, uh, of portable water for the purposes of you know dousing lava or putting out fires or you know taking a bath whatever you want to do um, generally a good idea to have ice around instead of buckets because it is far more renewable. Um, speaking of renewable, this is my current uh, monstrosity of a project. This is a fully automatic tanned leather farm. It was quite a complicated build to do. It's uh, not done exactly on the outside. I still have some things I need to do yet. There's still some components, some, por some portions of this that are also not quite completed. Uh, I finished this last Thursday, or at least I finished the functional part of it last Thursday, and I stayed uh, I stayed online, I stayed in this world overnight just to see how much uh, tan leather would actually accumulate overnight, and it's not very much. It's uh, I got about 20 tan leather over the course of an evening, but the cool thing about this farm is that uh, tan leather is one of those items that I do need. Uh, but I don't need a lot of it. I just need a very slow trickle of it. So the fact that this isn't the world's best farm for producing massive amounts of tan leather is actually not that much of a detriment. It doesn't really uh, hurt me that much. Uh, one of the things I have here is my, I don't know, cookhouse. I'm not sure what you'd want to call this. Uh, there are three different uh, forms this, this building has. This is the stewing pot, which you can use to cook uh, foods as well as... Uh, create leather and tallow and other sundries of, of various sorts. Uh, if you hit this button, it switches out to a kiln. Uh, this brick formation is a kiln. This is where you can fire pottery that has been spun on the turntables inside the, uh, the house over there. And if you hit the button again, it gives you the crucible, which is used to melt down uh, metals. Like, for example, if I were to put my flint and steel in here, you can see it will try to melt it down. I actually want my flint and steel, but it does allow you to do that. And uh, so moving on really quickly to exactly what I'm planning on doing today in the show. Um, I want to create, or start working on at least, my storage facility. My plan for the storage facility is to create a separate section, a separate storage location for every single item in Minecraft with the ability to expand, of course in all the items in Better Than Wolves, with the ability to expand uh, as more items are added to either Minecraft, base Minecraft or the Better Than Wolves mod. The ability to completely have it have everything be automatically sorted. So if I'm done adventuring, if I'm done building, literally all I'll have to do is dump all of my stuff into a chest, and it will automatically filter out and sort everything. And all this should be possible within the Better Than Wolves uh, within the Better Than Wolves mod. But uh, I guess time will tell. Uh, speaking of, I'm running a little short on time, as I said today, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, upload this, and uh, hopefully this will be up before my show today at 3 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash cilantro gamer. Come check me out and have fun exploring the world of Minecraft with the Better Than Wolves mod. Hope to see you there.